What is up you guys, Strably123 here and today I have another video on secret hiding spots in Pixel Gun 3D. So a lot of you guys said I should do more spots, so here I am continuing this series. And this spot is actually a spot I found on my own, I don't think anybody knows about it. I did it about uh, a couple months ago in one of my other videos, but that was back when I had like like 15 subscribers so I don't think most of you guys uh, have seen it so I'm going to show it to you now so what you need to do is just come over to this Parthenon right here uh, and then go to the very back where there's like a balcony now you'll see this balcony it looks like uh, just like it's just a people uh, place where people spawn you can go out there uh, pretty nice uh, there's a spot up there that I've showed you guys before. If you want to see that, uh, let me know and I'll uh, show you in another video. But uh, back to the point. Now, all you need for this spot is double jump boots. And I happen to have those. So basically, what you're going to need to do, come to the Parthenon. Like I said, go to the balcony. Uh, it doesn't matter left or light, right. Left is easier to get to the spot. Jump off to the left on the rocks, as you can see here. Just jump right here. As you can see, you cannot walk under to uh, that little spot right there. That is where we are trying to get. Right there, that little rock part. You can't walk. I'm trying to walk. And then, if you jump, you can get through. Like, it's just so crazy. Now, lots of people don't know this because, like, this spot is, like, good for hide and seek. Most people don't know this because they're too busy, like, actually fighting the battle. But it's actually right where people spawn. So if you just keep on shooting up with the anti-hero rifle, you can actually get a couple kills. Now, it's not a good hiding spot for anything except hide-and-seek, but, uh, yeah. So all you need to do is walk up to it, jump once, and then it actually glitches your head through the ground. So I'm going to jump and then walk, and as you can see, it won't work. I'm going to walk normally, and as you can see, it still will not work. But if you walk, jump, it glitches you through. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can go up to this far... And if you're like, if you're like, ah, oh, I want, I want to do it another way. I have a couple other ways to do it. You can fall for a little bit and then use your double jump, but uh, that did not work uh, clearly. So I would just stick with the main tactic. But there are some other ones, so I'm just gonna really quickly show you a couple of them. Um, hold on a sec. Okay. So like I was saying over here, you just drop down and use your double jump. It's not letting me double jump for some reason, so I'll do it from a different angle. Sorry about that. Let's get our guardian over here. I love it when you jump, it leaves like a trail. I think that's pretty cool. This should be like a pet instead of a gadget. So uh, another way, instead of if you don't want to jump there, you just jump around, then jump back, and boom. See, you're there again. And then your pet kid's there, and he's not glitched up. But yeah, like I said, just go, jump, boom. This is a secret spot. And uh, yeah. Lots of people don't know about this, a very underrated spot. I say it's amazing if you're playing hide-and-seek with a friend, or if you're just playing hide-and-seek on a hide-and-seek server. Uh, they actually have those now. Not, like, actually on the game, but there are some people who make private matches just for hide-and-seek. Uh, and, uh, yeah, signing off, Strably123. I hope you guys use this spot in the future. I think it is pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah, Heaven Garden Parthenon spot. Just run and jump. Boom. You're there. Signing off. Strably123. Thank you guys for 50 subscribers. Uh, yeah. So, love you guys. Thank you. And goodbye.